Hi guys, it's Ben here, and as Liverpool successfully navigated the Asia Trophy last week, they now head to Germany for a training camp and another summer tournament. So Liverpool are set to play four friendlies in eight days as they step up their pre-season campaign. Three of those games are going to be in Germany, first of those against Hertha Berlin. The 30-man squad has been announced for this tour. Lazar Markovic, Mamadou Sakho and Shea Ojo all miss out. Those three players are all expected to leave, Ojo on loan, the other two permanent. But we do welcome back Sadio Mane and Danny Ings from injury. Emre Chan is also back with a squad after he had the extended break thanks to the Confederations Cup. Andrew Robertson also joins up with a squad following his move from Hull City. James Milner and Nathaniel Klein have been carrying knocks, but they have travelled to Germany. We were hoping, and I'm sure Klopp was hoping, that he'd have the bulk of his targets, his signings in by now. That was the case last season. All of our business was done by this point, but still a long way to go there. No Cater, no Van Dijk, no Oxlade Chamberlain, or whoever else we're going to end up signing this summer. But we do have Mohamed Salah, we do have Salah Mane back, so that's big in itself. And now's the time, with so many games in very few days, I think we'll start to see some full 90 minutes, or at least some 70 minute displays from pretty much everybody. This is a game I'm very jealous of everyone that's going to. Berlin's a magnificent city, it's a wonderful stadium, great place for football, great place for beers. I'm sure it's going to be sunny out there, the Reds are going to have a great time. Would have gone myself, but bills have got to be paid this month. So we have beaten off Premier League opposition so far this summer with wins over Leicester and Crystal Palace, and Hertha Berlin will be a similar test. They came six in the Bundesliga last season, so they had no mugs. Salomon Kalou plays up front for them. They got some other handy players from what I've seen, so it'll be a competitive game for the Reds. Let's have a go at a predicted 11. In goal, I'm going to go with Simon Mignolet. I know Loris Karras and Danny Ward missed training on Wednesday, so they're probably not quite ready to start here. Maybe one of them will come in against Bayern Munich on Tuesday, but I expect Mignolet to start in goal. Now, I do think this will primarily be the B team. I think he'll save most of his key players for Tuesday against Bayern Munich and then play them again on Saturday in Dublin. Obviously, we've got another game on Wednesday, so I think it'll be B team Saturday, A team Tuesday, B team Wednesday, and then A team on Saturday. You won't want the first team to have a week and a half in between games as we play Watford on the 12th of August. So right back, John Flanagan. I know Nathaniel Klein's been struggling, so Alexander-Arnold may be kept back for Tuesday. John Flanagan had a go at right back last week, so I think he'll play there again on Saturday. I'm going to go with a centre-back pairing of Joe Gomez and Ragnar Klavan. I've been quite impressed with both so far, especially Joe Gomez, who, when he came back in in January after his injury, looked really shaky. In that Wolves game, he had a real stinker. It looked like his Liverpool career was just going to go on the downward trajectory for the time being, but he looks okay this pre-season. He's been playing a centre-back, looking strong, looking fit, looking forward to seeing how he progresses. Left-back, I'm going to go for the new signing, Andy Robertson. I think he'll be itching to get on the pitch after he got his big move. I'm very excited to see him play. It's a signing I'm quite happy with. I think generally there was a lot of disdain towards the signing at first, but when it was announced, I think we've all kind of accepted it's a decent little signing for the time being. Is it the answer long-term? No, but it's £8 million. Nothing to lose. In midfield, I'm going to pick the returning Emre Chan. I'm looking forward to seeing him back in action, and I just want him to sign his contract as soon as possible. I'm, just, I'm sick of all these things hanging over our head. I know we've got the Coutinho stuff and Van Dijk and Cater, which is obviously the most of our worries, but Emre Chan is also a very important asset for Liverpool. Can't wait to see him play, but please sign the contract too. So Chan's playing the six. I think ahead of him, Marco Grujic. He's had an up and down pre-season. Had a great game at Tranmere. Scored that lovely goal from 30 yards out. And I thought he played well in the game against Leicester. But against Palace, I didn't think he was quite there. And he put in that really nasty tackle on Zahar, was it? Didn't think he was great at Wigan either. So let's hope we can get some rhythm together and at least push to play in at least the second string this season when we have the cup games. And completing the midfield three, Ben Woodburn, who has looked tidy. I really like him in the midfield. He's got a great low centre of gravity. He keeps the ball well. He uses his body, he's got eyes in the back of his head, great vision, great passing, I think he's perfect fit for that role. And I'm going to go for a very attacking front three of Daniel Sturridge, Dominic Slanky and Divock Origi. We saw all those three on the pitch at the same time last week as a front three. I know Origi can play wide left, Sturridge often likes to drift out to the right, Slanky even played wide at one point, so I think they can be pretty interchangeable. Ideally we'll see Slanky up front, I think out of the three he's the one that's most desperate to be leading the line, I think the other two can kind of do okay supplementing him. I think everyone's got quite a good feeling about Dominic Slanky, he obviously banged in that goal against Crystal Palace. He's looked very sharp outside of that too. Let's hope he can score again in Berlin. I think he will start. I can't actually find any odds for this game for some reason. I'm not sure whether it's a friendly or whether I'm just too early. I'm recording this on Thursday night, so if anything does change with injuries or lineups or the squad, then I do apologise for being late, but I have to record this on Thursday. We are unbeaten so far in pre-season. Okay, we drew at Wigan and we only played Tramier Rovers, but the two wins over the Premier League sides were quite impressive. Not reading too much into pre-season, of course. So I am going to back us to continue that run, for this game at least, obviously with the Bayern Munich and whether it be Atletico Madrid or Napoli games coming up, then you've got Bilbao, it will get a lot tougher, but her to Berlin away from home in that wonderful stadium, I think we can put on a good display. I'm going to back us to go there and win 2-0. 
with the girls coming from Emery Chan and Dominic Solanke. So there's my quick preview for Hertha Berlin versus Liverpool in the preseason friendly. I will be away this weekend, but I'll make sure I get some player ratings done. That'll be uploaded after the game. Leave a comment with your score predictions, and if you disagree with my lineup, who do you think is going to play on Saturday? Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me, and follow me on the socials if they're my say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.